I'm back on the Oliver today, guys. So I think what I'll do is I, I'm going to go ahead and take some of the sheet metal off. Um, I don't want to get too deep into the project money-wise um, until I know for sure that this motor is going to fire, which I do believe it will, but I don't know that for sure. So I think what we'll do is we'll just start pulling some sheet metal off just so I can get to the motor and access to things better. At the end of the day, if the motor runs, I'm going to be taking this stuff off anyways. Um, and so right now, I think I'll just get it off, get it out of my way. Uh, it'll allow me to clean some things up and, and, you know, go through some of the stuff just a little bit easier without some of this sheet metal on. The grill, well, not the grill, but the front nose clip, I believe that and the radiator are all one piece. So that might be just a little bit more effort, but I'll, uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'll put you on time lapse video and that way it's not so boring for you. So we'll go through it kind of quick. Just got some bolts here on the exhaust to deal with. I'll take it off right here. I'll unbolt these. I've uh, got the gas tank right here. And um, so I think it's going to be relatively cut and dry. So of course these bolts are old and rusty, so keep that in mind.
Okay guys, I've got the um, battery hooked up. Um, so just to catch you up on where I'm at right now. So I've gone through the entire fuel system. It's hooked up. I don't have um, any fuel in there right now. And uh, which is good. I'm not interested in trying to start it right now. I don't even have plugs in it. Um, what I want to do is I want to check my oil and just see if I get um, oil up to my oil filter. I don't have the filter on. This is an old filter. I've got a new one coming. It'll probably be here tomorrow. But I don't have it right now. So what I want to do is I want to check a couple things. One, I want to check to see if my starter even works because I don't even know yet. And then um, also I want to check the um, oil and see if my oil pump is working fine. Um, I'm expecting oil to come up through here. Of course, then I'll shut it off. But I'm gonna crank it right now, and I can I can turn it over by hand real easy. Um, I just put a half inch uh, ratchet on the front crank and turned it. I mean, it, it turns like butter. So um, if the starter doesn't turn it, then uh, there's an issue with the starter because it turns real easy. Now I will say this: the battery is the same battery um, that I pulled out of it. But it's been on the charger for weeks. I put it on a trickle charger for weeks. 10 amp for a while and then I just went to two. Um, so let's see. Okay. Buzzer works. Okay. So I'm not getting anything carried over. I'm on positive ground. Let me just see if I've got headlights. Not really light there. Can't imagine this having any kind of a safety feel, but it's just push down. Got a little white in the dash going on. Ah, I heard a little something there. I do not think that battery. It doesn't sound like that battery has the amps for it. Uh, not a big surprise. That battery is supposedly many, many, many years old, and it didn't have any charge on it forever. So I'll switch out a battery. I've got another one that's just sitting here on the bench, so I'll pull this one off and grab the other, and we'll see if that one will do it. Let's see what we got now. I would have thought that had enough amperage. Okay guys, let's take the starter off. I feel like there may be an issue here in the starter. Maybe it's a bad solenoid. Um, maybe it's a weak starter. Uh, who knows, maybe you have a mouse nest in there somewhere. But it doesn't seem to want to turn. I can hear it somewhat sound like it's trying to engage. And again, I can turn the motor over like butter. So let's take this thing off and let's see what we got. Okay, well, doesn't look terrible. Definitely, there's some wear there, but it's not horrific. Okay guys, so after cleaning this thing up, getting this all cleaned up and this all cleaned up, and then testing it, 
it's not functioning correctly and I believe I thought that this maybe was just um, you know way the way that um, glue or whatever it is that they put in there the coating had dried but I believe what we're seeing there is probably overheating but I think this starting starter armature is no good so in um, with that said, I went ahead and have pulled a starter off one of our other tractors. One I use for yard art right now, but I do intend to rebuild it one day. It's an Oliver 1550. So it has a starter on it, and I know this starter works because, um, well, I drove the tractor over there. It just needs a rebuild of the engine. But <clears throat> So we're going to take this one apart and see how everything looks. Right now, the uh, the Bendix looks really good. I don't see a whole lot of wear on that. So let's take it apart and see what it looks like. Okay, guys, so... <clears throat> This is the armature that I took off the other tractor and I've now put it in this housing. This housing was just cleaner. That's the only reason I use it. There's the old housing from the, the starter that did work. It's just a little bit dirtier. Plus this one came off the tractor. So I just figure I'm, every little thing helps as far as it being exact. So, um, you know, I use this old housing. I did replace a bushing in there matter of fact, it was this bushing here is what I put in there. And it went, oops, that's not it. It went inside this little plate here that was inside of there. I used the one from my bad starter on this good starter because um, it was just in a better condition. And I was able to find a bushing that fit this bushing doesn't fit this because the shaft is just a little bit different. Anyways, um, without getting too complicated and confusing everybody, I did have to replace that bushing, which I've done. So now I'm going to put the thing back together. But on the starter that worked, amazingly, that's what it looked like inside. Horrific, right? So on the starter that didn't work, that's what it looked like so but again the uh, the other armature <clears throat> this is the old arm <clears throat> the other armature that was bad so you can see how melted up that it looks whereas this looks significantly better right so <clears throat> we've really essentially just changed this portion of the starter so now I'm going to put this into the old starters housing because the brushes look better and the whole housing looks better. Everything looks better on this one. So shouldn't make any difference at all. So I'm going to do that now. Okay guys, so we've got the starter rebuilt now and I've got an oil filter on it. I've got fresh oil in it. I've got new plugs in it, new points, condenser, rotor, um, uh, distributor cap. So I think I've got everything at this point to go ahead and fire it up and, um, and see what we got. So, uh, you know, the carb may need some adjusting, obviously, uh, may have to adjust the points. I I'm not sure. I've got the points set, I think, at 20, and I think they're supposed to be set at 22, but close enough 
for right now, I think. So we're gonna go ahead and fire it off. I cannot run it very long because I, I don't have a belt for my water pump. It had broke and I forgot to replace it. So we're gonna fire it up and let it run for just a few seconds if we're gonna get, get it running. I, I'm not 100% sure, I'm hopeful. I feel like it will. Let me turn the gas on. Fuel is on. We're gonna go ahead and choke it. I certainly did not expect it to, let me turn the fuel off, certainly did not expect it to fire the minute I hit the key. That's literally the first time this thing has run in, according to the previous owner, 30 plus years. I don't think that's accurate. I think her husband was probably starting this thing out in her shop, in their barn, and she probably wasn't aware of it just because of little clues that tell me otherwise, the battery being an ever start, you know, probably not more than 15, 20 years old would be my guess. Um, so, wow, <laughs> it runs like a top, so pretty amazing. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna get a belt on this thing. I'm gonna run, I think, into town and put a belt on this, and uh, I'm gonna run this thing for a little bit and kinda get some of the crud out of it. I figured I'd run it a short time and then I'll change the fluids again. That's pretty amazing, guys. Yeah, I'm sure it probably looked like, you know, oh, he, he already started that thing. I guarantee you, I did not start this. I had never, I didn't even know if I had spark, but I had rebuilt the car in, in the starter. And so, wow, awesome. So stay tuned guys for more on the Oliver 550. And uh, until next time, I'm Chris with M7 Metalworks. We'll see you.